Barendra Rajpot Carol from Action on Disability Rights and Development, ADRAD, Nepal on, Inclusive Post-Earthquake Reconstruction, Public Building SAFs and Accessible for All. ADRAD is a rights-based development organization established in 2008 by persons with disabilities in Nepal. ADRAD's public advocacy pushed for the CRPD ratification and achieving disability targets of SDG. It has received the ABC International Excellence Award in 2016 and won one of Zero Project's Innovative Policies in 2016. A devastating earthquake on 25th of April, 2015 in Nepal affected thousands of people with disabilities, who faced many hardships during rescue and relief. Transforming rights in real life was critical. Thus ADRAD launched the campaign of disability inclusive post-earthquake reform ensuring accessibility standards in the public places. The project actively provides people with disabilities access to services. ADRAD mobilized paralegals who are engaged in planning, monitoring and implementation of post-earthquake reform framework. Build capacity of construction workers for fulfilling accessibility compliances promoting public accountability through accessibility auditing and further monitor the accessibility measures. The project, inclusive post-earthquake reconstruction, public building safe and accessible for all, help 14 districts affected by the earthquake to guarantee accessibility standards in public buildings. The engagement of persons with disabilities for monitoring and the entire governmental coordination for implementation was developed to support holistic approach of post-earthquake reform. The newly amended Act is covered accessible standard in line with CRPD Article 9. 6,765 persons with disabilities and their families received first phase amount for the building reconstruction. 87 Public Places are built accessible. 145 construction workers oriented about accessibility standards supported public places constructed accessible. The accessible reconstruction covered in the planning of public buildings in Kathmandu Valley and being replicated in other districts. The newly elected municipalities are also adopting the accessible. Standards developed by the government through the execution of the project and influence positively to developing public policy during post-disasters reform. Mr. Gunaraj Khatiwada, residing in the rural community of Tading, one of the most vulnerable earthquake hit districts, living in a temporary built shelter with seven members' family. Despite of his
hardship. He is supporting thousands of people by his engagement in supporting persons with disabilities being assigned by ADRAD. There is civil society funding, 56,000 US dollars from Foundation Open Society Institute and non-financial support of 24,000 US dollars as voluntary engagement by the local communities. The project execution was based on active engagement of local DPS under Droughts Network. The project has followed international standards while developing the accessibility indicators that are replicable in other parts of the country to ensure accessible public places. Despite of such initiatives, this standards is not being implemented in the school construction the recently adopted inclusive education policy mentioned accessibility compliances. Capacity building of construction workers to be continued so as to develop knowledge and skills for meeting accessible standards that has to be executed by the government and local bodies. The Engagement of PUS to be promoted for monitoring the state commitments of meeting accessible standards in line with CRPD.